Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. I ordered a Samsung Galaxy Book Go 5G, which comes with the Snapdragon 8CX Gen 2 and 8 gigabytes of memory. And I think it was 256 gigabytes of storage. I already have the Wi-Fi model but that one has the Snapdragon 7C Gen 2 and only 4 gigabytes of memory and I noticed that for instance when I installed Windows subsystem for Android 4 gigabytes of memory is not enough so that's why I decided to go for the 5G model originally they were very expensive but nowadays uh, you can buy them refurbished so I bought it from Amazon America and I had to deliver it to the EU and the price including shipping and taxes was around 275 euros but of course that is also dependent on the exchange rate between the US dollar and the euro so now I'm going to unbox the refurbished Samsung Galaxy Book Go 5G. So as you can see, this is not the original box from Samsung. So here we have a USB-C charger. And I don't think this is the original Samsung charger. But it doesn't really matter that much because it's USB-C, so no problem there. So this is the power cable, US model, so I will need an adapter for Europe. There's nothing else in the box. So, well, you can see there's some sign of use. So, well, but I assume everything will be working. So here is still the sticker with the 
HCX Gen 2. So let's see. So I have a Debian image that worked with the Wi-Fi model. So we're going to see what it does if it also boots on the 5G model. If it wants to boot. So let's see. Well, Well, that's not really nice. Completely empty battery. So I'm going to let it charge for a couple of minutes and then I'll try to boot it. So I'll be back after the break. Okay, so let's try that again. Pressing F8. Okay. Use troubleshoot advanced options and the UEFI firmware settings and it says it needs to restart so That's not good. Oh, we're just takes a very long time. <laughs> ah, here we are. So go to boot. We disable secure boot control. And let's see. Doesn't seem to recognize the USB stick yet, but perhaps that's because of the secure boot. So we'll save. Okay, pressing F8 again. Oh, that's a pity.
doesn't see the USB stick. So what if we try the USB-A port? Well, let's try a reset. Well, I don't understand why turning off takes such a long time, but anyway, let's try this one more time. Well, now it seems to be stuck. Really weird. Because the Wi Fi model, I didn't have that much problems oh. but now it looks like it's trying to boot windows yes now it's trying to boot windows that's not what I wanted So I'm gonna pause here and try to get to get it booting from the USB stick. Well, I finally managed to find the USB stick and not really sure why it's giving me so much problems while the Wi-Fi model is much easier. So I'm going to try to make the USB stick the primary and let's see what happens when we try this okay that looks better so let's try to boot Debian. And well, unfortunately, the image for the Wi Fi model doesn't work for the 5G model. And probably that's because there's a different chip. Uh, I can try the Acer Aspire, but I don't think that's going to work either. Yeah, it's also uh, erroring out. So, yeah, unfortunately for Linux support, we'll have to wait. And uh, hopefully when we have the Ubuntu image for the Lenovo ThinkPad X13s um, then perhaps after that who knows if the Snapdragon 
HCX Gen 2 will be supported. So until then, I'll have to play around with Windows. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.